What's going on guys? Today I'm doing a quick video on workflows. The biggest reason why I'm doing this recording is for these two reasons. First off, workflows, it's very flexible when you're creating work uh, flow systems. So that way you can automate your agency. Second of all, Go High Level as a platform is starting to move away from triggers and they're moving triggers, like everything that you can do and various different triggers, just for an example here of one of my triggers that you can see that when a form is submitted, a webhook gets shot, a membership offer is granted, there's an email that gets sent out, there's a text message that gets sent out, and so on and so forth. And just like you, you guys, you have different types of triggers in here. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is create a workflow system so that way you can go back and watch this video and pretty much move all your triggers per se into workflows. So today what I'm doing is working on my lead notifications to send into my Slack channel. And I have uh, created a few already. So what you can do to stay organized is create a work folder or create a folder so you can stay organized. Because as you can see in my trigger section, there are lots of different triggers and different, and I have to stay organized because there's so many different ones going off at different times, right? So what I wanna go ahead and do is show you guys how you can pretty much create one and basically moving all of your information from your triggers over into workflows. And when you are creating these workflows, it's gonna be easier for you to understand how workflows even work in the first place. So I'm gonna go ahead and I've already created my folder. I've already added a couple here, as you can see, and now I'm gonna create one myself. And pro tip, by the way, I recommend you duplicate a tab like I did so that way you can refer back and forth. So that way you can, um, you know, like I was saying, refer back into different triggers and you can simply copy and paste everything over. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. So as you can see, I have a mini course Slack lead notify, course access free mini course, and I'm gonna send an email and text message and that should translate over to exactly what is going on here. So we're gonna go back to other, other tab we're going to create a workflow and I'm going to start from scratch. And I'm going to be sure I name my workflow the same name I was doing earlier with my trigger. And then I will create a new trigger to start off the whole entire campaign. I guess you could call it a workflow situation by referring back here. The form is my scale mini course. So I will go into the CRM, make sure it says that. This will be the trigger name, by the way. And we're gonna select form. So you can type in form if you want to here. Form submitted. You can add a filter of exactly what form that is, just like normal. And I copied and pasted it over. And I'm also gonna name it the, the, the workflow trigger name, scale mini course form submitted. So now, the, so far, it is simply that someone has submitted the form. Now I'm clicking add, and I'm going to keep on following what I'm doing on this side. So it's going to be executing a webhook. As an example, I'll find a webhook. I'll enter my URL, the exact same one. I'll add another one, meaning another uh, portion to it. So now I'm offering uh, a membership grant offer. So that's what, exactly what I'm going to do. It's gonna be somewhere down here. Just gotta find it. I bet you I could have typed it as well. There it is. Save that action, add another one. And the reason I love this so much too is so I can still copy and paste it all over. So now I'm going to find my email. Send email. I've probably already passed it. There you go.
There we go. Save that action. And then we'll do our very last one, which will be sending a text over. And as you can see, that is how you create. Oh, before I end this video, actually, let me publish it. Make sure I save it. It may do an arrow, but that's OK. An error, I mean. And it usually works that way. So now I can go back. And as you can see, under lead notifications, I just added one that is here. Wait, no. Where'd it go? The mini course should be right there. Sorry, guys. And then. As you can see, if I go back into my triggers, like I said, the main reason why we're making this video is because Go High Level is moving to uh, workflow systems, and workflows just lets you pretty much operate as triggers. And you can do other flexible things as well. As you learn more about workflows, you'll know exactly what I mean by that as you become more advanced. But the main thing is, is that you can move all your triggers over into workflows because Go High Level is moving away from it due to it being simply a better system. So um, I'm practicing what I'm preaching here, guys. I just added my whole lead notifications and I will be um, continuing to add all of my other uh, systems into that space. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on workflows and continue to crush it, guys. I'm so very proud of you all. Keep going through the trainings, keep going. Um, as far as staying focused in your business and you will succeed. So thank you so much. And I'll see you guys in the next training.